Florida State Seminoles are undefeated. The Tribe came from behind for a victory tonight over Kansas. And Bob Warren is standing by live at Bill Campbell Stadium for a game report. Robert? Thank you, Scotty. Hello, everybody. Let me tell you from the outset, never believe what a sportscaster tells you. Five weeks ago, we did a Florida State preseason show. At that time, looking at the schedule, I said, no sweat. When Kansas comes to town, it would be a piece of cake. The Jayhawks were nothing more than weak sisters. Never believe what a sportscaster tells you. Believe me. 57,135 poured into Doe Campbell Stadium tonight on just a perfect night. And I think everybody in the place will tell you they certainly got their money's worth and even a little more as we take a look at the highlights right now. Kansas got the ball first and they moved down the field like they absolutely own the place. Harold at quarterback Mike Sort North set hooked up with Sandy McGee from 25 yards. And the Hawkins were already knocking on the door down to the seven yard line. On the very next play was North set with the magic to tie it in Sylvester Bird and seven yard yards out, 7-0, Kansas. Then it became a turnover bowl. Florida State on its initial possession drove all the way downfield, came within inches of scoring. The Cletus Jones struggling to get in, fumble before breaking the plane. KU then turned the ball back over to Florida State, but the Tribe immediately returned the favor. Check it out. Kurt Coker is picked off by John Randolph at the FSU's 19, and folks, that led to some points. The drive stalled, but Jeff Johnson did the honors. With this 26-yard field goal, 10 to nothing, Kansas. Florida State came running right back on the wheels of Tony Smith, 98 yards in the first half alone, all the way down to the three-yard line here, a 23-yard game. The drive bogged down, and Derek Schmidt did the honors from uh, 18 yards out. It was 10-3, Kansas. On FSU's next possession, the firm of Coker to Bryant went to work. Coker hits the Bainbridge native for a 17-yard pickup across the middle. Then on the very next play, Coker to Bryant again from 21 yards out for the touch, and we had a 10-all tie. Then Florida State committed a Cardinal sin, roughing the Kansas punter on fourth down, and the Hawks were alive at the 38-yard line. North set cashed in with a butte. Check this out. He connects with Willie Vaughn for a 21-yard touchdown. Kansas had a 17-10 halftime lead. Only points in the third quarter right here off the foot of Johnson, 20 to uh, 10, Kansas. In the fourth quarter, Bobby Bowden got a hook and a hero was born. Check out Chip Ferguson as he hooks up with freshman Philip Bryant with a 68-yard bomb, and the lead was cut to 2017, Kansas, and the joint was rocking. Just two minutes and 25 seconds later, more fireworks from yet another freshman. Victor Floyd scoots in from six yards out. It was 24 to 20, Florida State, their first lead of the night. Kansas got one final chance to pull it out. We're moving, but North set. It's Eric Williams who intercepts, and that preserved the tough 24 to 21 for the fourth ranked tri tribe. Now, following the game, we hustle on down to the locker room to get reaction from the principals involved. The first man we spoke to, a relieved Bobby Bowden. We kept saying, I know we we were into the thing. The thing we were kept to ourselves. Let's don't panic yet. No, we knew we were going to panic any minute, but let's don't panic yet. We're within three. We're within seven. We were within three, we were within seven, and all of a sudden we were within ten. And uh, so we put Chip in there. We felt like something had to happen, and you did a real good job. It's a team sport, and we needed something else. You know, I, I know that Chip came in there and did the job. I just wish that we'd have called that play while I was in there. I think we'd have scored, but we just we never, like I said, we never called it while I was in there. It's been close all year, and, you know, it's just been, you know, small things that's been separating them. And I don't know if today's game will really determine, you know, who will be the starting quarterback against, against Auburn. But whichever quarterback's in, I hope they do a good job and help us win. Okay. Scotty, let me wrap it up from Doe Campbell Stadium Live tonight by telling you no major injuries that we know of. First of all, a new star is born in Chip Ferguson, the freshman. And Florida State now gets a week off to prepare for the Auburn Tigers. And I know you have more about them and their fortune.